Hello and welcome back to our channel. We are here just south of Flagstaff to visit Montezuma Castle National Monument. It preserves cliff dwellings of the native Sinagua Indians. Montezuma Castle National Monument is located about 50 miles south of Flagstaff, Arizona. The dwellings were built over a period of three centuries between approximately 1100 and 1425 CE by the Sinagua people. And this is the Montezuma Castle. We can't get up there now because it's closed. It was closed in uh, 1900s because people were looting and removing artifacts. There are barely any doors visible. People got there using ladders and the ceiling. The main structure, also called Castle A, has five stories, at least 45 rooms, and it sits 90 feet above the ground in the limestone cliffs. This is the Beaver Creek, on which people living here depended on, because that was their source of water. The Montezuma Castle diorama was made in 1951 and shows what life might have been like at the Montezuma Castle. On the third floor, an aging man leads his blind wife across the balcony. Montezuma Castle National Monument consists of two sites. The second site is Montezuma Well and is located 10 miles from the Montezuma Castle site. The well is a natural limestone sinkhole formed when a large underground cavern collapsed. It is 386 feet from rim to rim and the water level stays very steady even during times of drought. There are ruins of dwellings in the cliffs around the well, dating back to the same time period as those at Montezuma Castle. Fed by an underground spring, about 1.5 million gallons of water flow through the well each day. The water is highly carbonated and has high levels of arsenic. This prevents fish from populating the well, but it does contain five endemic species. An algae, a spring snail, a water scorpion, an amphipod, and a leech. That's the most endemic species of any spring in the southwestern United States. Oh, and by the way, endemic means it's not natively found anywhere else. Right now we're standing at the outlet of the well, and the water through there just comes down this little outlet, flowing through, and you can see it flowing, and then it gets here, and that's it. It just disappears underground and re-emerges into the creek below. So we saw up there where the water disappears from the side of the lake just into the rock, it just suddenly disappears. Well, down here is where it re-emerges and it follows this irrigation ditch all the way around and rejoins the river just down there. Sometime around 700 CE, a seven mile long canal was built, diverting the well's outflow into a network of irrigation canals, enough to irrigate up to 60 acres of land. Much of the original canal is still visible. If you enjoyed this video, check out our other videos covering Native American history and make sure you're subscribed for more national park adventures. It preserves cliff dwellings of night. <laughs>